otters. Aren't they just adorable? Their playful antics, those big, wide eyes, and that fluffy fur make them one of the cutest creatures around. But don't let that fool you. Beneath that cute exterior, otters can be downright terrifying hunters. With powerful jaws, sharp teeth, and a fierce, territorial nature, otters are true predators in the wild. But what if I told you that millions of years ago, there was an even larger, more terrifying version of these creatures. A giant otter-like predator that ruled the rivers with its crushing bite and unstoppable power. Meet in Hydriodon, the prehistoric mustelid that was once the apex predator of its time. Before we dive deeper into the world of Enhydriodon, I need your help. If you're enjoying this content, hit that like button and let me know what you think about these prehistoric predators in the comments below. The more you interact with the video, the more it helps the algorithm push this video to others who love ancient creatures just like you. Likes and comments are the secret source that tells YouTube this is a video worth watching. So show some love and let's get started. Enhydriodon lived between the late Miocene and early Pleistocene around 10 to 2 million years ago. Its fossils have been uncovered across India, Pakistan and Africa regions that were home to this giant predator. But it wasn't just a regular otter, it was a monster of its time. Discovered as early as 1868, Enhydriodon's fossils were initially mistaken for those of other creatures. But as more bones were uncovered, researchers realized they had found the remains of one of the largest otter-like predators ever to walk the earth. Enhydriodon was not your average otter. It had specialized, crushing teeth. Its large, bonadont molars allowed it to break open the toughest prey. Unlike modern otters, whose sharp teeth help them shear and slice, Enhydriodon's powerful jaws were designed for crushing. It could take down large turtles, fish, and even juvenile crocodiles. And let's talk about Enhydriodon's teeth. Its third incisor, known as the I3 tooth, was massive, almost like a canine. This feature was unlike anything seen in modern otters, and it gave Enhydriodon the power to take down hard-shelled prey, crushing them with ease. Species like Enhydriodon civilensis and Enhydriodon falconeri from the Indian subcontinent were likely semi-aquatic hunters, feeding on bivalves and crustaceans. The dense river systems and lush forests were the perfect environment for these giant predators, allowing them to thrive in both water and on land. But the African species of Enhydriodon, such as Enhydriodon dikikai and Enhydriodon omoensis, were far larger and may have been more terrestrial. Weighing up to 220 pounds or more, these species could have been the apex predators of the African continent. They likely hunted larger prey, possibly small mammals, reptiles, and even carrion. Whether hunting in the water or on land, Enhydriodon's massive size and specialized teeth made it an unstoppable predator. In Africa, species like Enhydriodon dikikai were likely responsible for hunting or scavenging large prey, while their crushing jaws could have easily taken down hard-shelled animals like turtles and crocodiles. Over the years, many Enhydriodon fossils have been uncovered. Some species like Enhydriodon civilensis and Enhydriodon falconeri were found in the Siwalik Hills, while Enhydriodon dikikai and Enhydriodon omoensis were discovered in Ethiopia and Kenya. These fossils give us a glimpse into the prehistoric world and show us how Enhydriodon evolved to be one of the most fearsome predators of its time. Postcranial remains show us that Enhydriodon could walk on land, making it a versatile predator. Its powerful limbs helped it move through dense forests, while its specialized teeth and jaws made it a master hunter. This species was truly an apex predator in both water and on land. Enhydriodon lived during a time when the earth was changing rapidly. The Miocene and Pliocene epochs were full of giant mammals and massive predators. As the world shifted from lush forests to open grasslands, these giant mustelids adapted to become the kings of their environment. Enhydriodon was one of the largest, most powerful predators of its time. 
an ancient creature that left its mark on the prehistoric world. Though its reign ended millions of years ago, the fossils of this terrifying giant continue to fascinate scientists and enthusiasts alike. Now that you've met in Hydriodon, imagine what other terrifying prehistoric creatures are waiting to be discovered. Don't forget to hit that like button if you want to see more prehistoric giants like this. And make sure to comment below. I love hearing your thoughts and it really helps the video get recommended to other viewers who love ancient creatures. If you're ready for more, click the link to watch my next video on Aomelivora, a prehistoric honey badger more terrifying than today's honey badgers and larger than wolverines.